close out with, uh, with Dr. Asar, and then we're going to allow you to just network and interact and then enjoy the rest of the evening. I want to thank all of you for coming. We have a special love for you, and I will say to yourself, love yourself more, okay? That's my message to you. Invest in yourself. Love yourself. Eat better. Sleep better. Um, visit uh, the world. It's yours. Okay, uh, Brother Donald, um, please, I want to introduce you before you go. I've been knowing Donald in um, 15 years. He worked in foreign services, um, and he's here. He got his book, um, Leaving Freedom Leaving Fine Peace. Come in peace, so I'll let him close us out for today. Donald. Oh, um, good evening, everyone. You don't need the mic. I don't think so. I don't think so. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Donald Godfrey. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville. Yeah. Jacksonville in the house. Yeah. Jacksonville. Yeah. So um, the book is called Leaving Freedom to Find Peace, My Life Protection. It started off with my house being bombed by the Klan in 64. Right? I like a while. I integrated, well, I integrated um, Duval County's school system. I was the first black to go to a white school in Jacksonville, Florida. So anyway, they blew up our house. We were homeless for a little bit. And um, as time went on, I didn't do well at school, so I joined the Navy. <laughs> Couldn't get in college. Joined the Navy. I went into sub-service because my first wife, she was my girlfriend at the time, was pregnant, so I needed to get a job. And, you know, to make a long story short, I joined, I joined my sub submarines in the Navy, didn't like it, got out, did uh, some 17 years in the Coast Guard, 21 years total, retired in Washington, D.C. I did uh, information system security before it was called cyber security, it was called automated information system security. Did that for about 10 years, got a contract, went to Thailand. The guy said to me as a joke, he says, oh, since you love Africa so much, you just joined the foreign service, and you know you can go to Africa and never come back. I'm like, really? <laughs> he, said, he said, yeah. Plus, they pay you extra. They pay you extra. I'm like, man, they pay you extra to go to <laughs> give me a house. Everything, right? So I said, well, how much they paying? He said, well, they'll start you off around 38, you know, 42. So see, at the time, I was making 100. I was making over 100,000 working as a contractor. But anyway, I, I was working for the FBI. I worked for a lot of people. But went back to the States, got laid off. Foreign Service said, hey, we need somebody with your skills. I joined the Foreign Service. The first place they sent me was to Norway. <laughs> They sent me to Norway, which I was closer to the North Pole than I was to Africa. But the, second, the second tour, the second tour, nobody wanted Africa, of course. Nobody wanted Africa, and Ghana was my first place to land. I stayed in Ghana for five years, started building the house, and then I went from Ghana uh, to Conner Creek, Guinea, to Liberia. Nobody wanted to go to Liberia because of these both. I was there. I'm here to tell you about it. <laughs> from there, I went to Abuja. I, from Abuja, I retired, and I'm here now. Um, I know a few of you might want to migrate. I have a migration document that I put together because, you know, I, I went, I found myself struggling trying to figure out what office to contact, what people to talk to, how to get my license, how to get my Ghana card, how to get a SIM card, and all of that. So I wrote a document. And then, I, I, if you're interested, it's free. What's better than free? Yes. Nothing is better than free. So I have a document. It's free. All you have to do is write your, your name and your email address, and I will send you a copy. Right. As a matter of fact, this gentleman here, who, who's the gentleman with the shipping company? I have, to, I have to add you to the document, because I do have some shipping information in there on how to ship this your uh, household goods. Okay, so if you're interested, you can pass. Yeah, I mean, you can pass it around. 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 P
Yes, I need to be able to read it. Print. Print. Um, but I'm here to I'm here to sell my book. It's called Leaving the Freedom to Find Peace: My Life's Journey. Uh, you know, every, as you know, in America, they always talk about freedom, 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 freedom. But you get no peace here. Here, when I go to sleep at night, yes. I don't hear no motorcycles. I don't hear no cars. I don't hear no dogs barking. I don't hear no gunshots. I don't hear no people screaming at each other. It's just quiet. It's a good time to say your prayers too, man, because you can concentrate. Mm. All right? So, I love it here. And if you want to make the correct steps, make sure you keep in contact with this gentleman here. Because he knows enough people that you do not have a misstep. A fupa. Who speaks French? <laughs> a fupa. Yeah, a misstep. I mean, I, I stepped in something. Right, a full pot. So you don't want any, you don't want any missteps. All right. Um, I guess that's about it. Any question? So we can we take questions after we close. Let's give them a round. I mean, Thank you, Will Smith. I mean, just do some questions now. Yes. Well, my brother wanted to take some questions since you all came so far. We will allow a few questions. Yes, my sister. Um, I'd like to start with. Mr. Williams? Hans. 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 Hans.